Lockdown is difficult and tracks up and down the country are empty. Athletes are staying safe at home and managing their training the best they can. Jazz Sawyers and Guy Learmonth are a couple but isolating 240 miles apart. They told me as athletes they need to be honest with each other. Honestly thought that I couldn't go out with an athlete because athletes are too selfish and you can only have one person like that in the relationship. But actually it works because you understand that I need to be selfish in certain ways and I understand that you need to be selfish. So the whole lockdown thing, like we both know, yeah, I want Guy to be here and he wants me to be there, but we both know that the right place for each of us is on our, in our own homes. And so there's no kind of, there's no animosity about that it's like look i get it you have to do what's better for you and your sports career because i'm doing the exact same thing like i i never thought i'd, I'd go out with an athlete and i know you're the same jazz yeah. like, I, 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 I thought, like oh we're all to me it's like oh we're all maniacs we're all a bunch of misfits like uh i want some something completely different i just want a normal human being and all my relationships have failed like just, <laughs> they've just been miserable and then yeah. It just, we just happened, we just happened jazz. And it's just like, I think it, it's just, it's just natural. I think like, I don't know, I don't really know how to explain it, but it just, it just feels right. I'm not going to disrupt your routine and jazz is the same with me. Yeah. It's like, I'm, I'm up at this time. I'm having my breakfast this time. I'm going to the track here. It's like, great. I'm going to go at this time. I'll see yeah. you after basically. I'm not going to get to the track and distract you. I'm not going to snog your face off. I'm not going to squeeze your bum, you know, all that sort of stuff. We're going to focus and then, We'll have some fun afterwards. So it's, but it's just like, it's just that understanding. Yeah. Sorry, Jazz. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, totally. You know, in the past, when I've, when I've been going out with non-athletes, they kind of would expect me to put them ahead of long jump in certain situations. And like, most of the time, that's not going to happen. We both know this career is short. Yeah. And so it, it kind of, it sits at the top, it comes first, and we have to prioritize that. Um, but both of us get that, and so there's never any, any negative feelings about it. It's just, it's just the way it is. While they're in lockdown, Guy has Boris for company. Hey, okay, Sam. Come on. And Jazz has her music. And usually I've only got about 30 to 40 seconds of any one song, because my guitar playing is so bang average. It's below average, honestly. Um, but when I can kind of get in that zone, learn something new, um, spend a little bit of time learning a cover or writing, I do write as well, just not as, as frequently at the minute. It just takes me out of that training space and I'm totally absorbed in, I think they, what do they call it? Like a flow state. That's how I feel when I'm doing, doing music. Guy doesn't join me, but he loves me playing and singing. So whenever I've got the guitar out, he'd be like, send me a video. You've got to send me whatever you're doing. Um, he loves it. And he'll sometimes send me song requests from his favorite artists for me to do little covers of. Okay, thanks then, guys. See you later, Rona. Talk to you soon, no matter what.